In America, we say popcorn. 일본은 popcorn. In Myanmar, we say pop pop. Oh. 몽골에서는 달락 때 합주록 때 달락. Sophia and I'm from America. I feel like maybe half will be the same and maybe half will be very different. Maybe with some more modern words it would all be really similar. In America we say Netflix. In Korean we say Netflix. In Chinese we say Wang Fei. Oh. In Japan Netflix. In Thai we say Netflix. In Vietnam we say Netflix. Mongolia Netflix. In Uzbekistan, we say Netflix. In India, we say Netflix. In Thailand, we say Netflix. In Laos, we say Netflix. Oh. In Indonesia, we also say it Netflix. In the Philippines, we say Netflix. In Malaysia, we say Netflix. In Myanmar, we say Netflix. In Singapore, we say Netflix. In the Philippines, it's Netflix too. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that uh, this time China and Laos was the most interesting because it sounds the most different. But usually because it's another modern word, it sounds all pretty similar. Wang Fei. Next price. Yeah, it is. Because it's the most different, I think. Maybe, I think maybe Laos because of pronunciation. And I feel like China sometimes has their own word for yeah, everything. That's true. Yeah, that's Wang Fei means net. Wang means net. Yeah. Fei means fly. Yeah, it's they like are like, they made flying. it their own yeah, word. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. In America, we say popcorn. In Korean, we say popcorn. In Chinese, we say bao mi hua. In Japan, popcorn. In Thai, we say popcorn. In Vietnam, we say bao ngo. Mongolia, so non popcorn. In Uzbekistan, we say popcorn. In India, we say popcorn. In Thailand, we say popcorn. In Indonesia, we also say it popcorn. In Laos, we say popcorn. In the Philippines, we say popcorn. In Malaysia, we say popcorn. In Myanmar, we say pop pop. Oh, so cute. In Singapore, we say popcorn. In the Philippines, we say popcorn. I like it. I mean, they all sound like popcorn except for a few. And just like for pronunciation, I always like how Japan sounds. It's so cute. And also, oh, which one was Papa? Myanmar? Yeah, I love that. That's so cute. Popcorn. Pop pop. <laughs> so cute. In America, we say McDonald's. In Korean, we say McDonald's. In Chinese, we say McDonald's. In In China, we say McDonald's. In Indonesia, we say McDonald's or we share it as McD. In Uzbekistan, we say McDonald's. In India, we say McDonald's or McD. In Thailand, we say McDonald's. Laos, we say McDonald's. Mongolia, so non McDonald's and even Mac. In the Philippines, we say McDonald's or shorten it to McDo. Oh. In Malaysia, we say McDonald or McD. In Myanmar, we say Madone. Oh. In Singapore, we say McDonald's or we say Max. In Philippines, we say McDonald's or McDo. Uh, yeah, like I thought, since it's a more modern word, it's pretty similar. But some of them sounded more interesting, like Philippines, and I don't remember. There's so many, I don't remember which other one was kind of interesting. But I think it's cool how a lot of them call them McD's or Max, because in America, the shortened version of McDonald's is Mickey D's. Yeah, I don't know why it's Mickey, but it is. In America, we say cupcake. In Korean, we say cupcake. In Chinese, we say muffin or beizi dan gao. In Japan, we say cupcake. In Thai, we say cupcake. In Vietnam, we say cupcake. In Mongolia, we say cupcake. In Uzbekistan, we say cupcake. In Uzbekistan, we say cupcakes. In India, we say cupcakes or muffins as well. Mm. In Thailand, we say cupcake. Generally, in Indonesia, we also call it cupcake. In Laos, we say cupcake. In the Philippines, we say cupcake. In Malaysia, we also say cupcake. In Myanmar, we say cupcake. In Singapore, we also say cupcake. Mm. In Philippines, we say cupcake. 
I like it. I like hearing cupcake. It's a cute word already. But at this time, I think China and Mongolia stole the show with their own words for cupcake. I can't even try to say it again. I, it was kind of long, way longer than cupcake, so I can't remember. But it was cool. In America, we say bicycle. In Korean, we say 자전거. In Chinese, we say 自行车. 일본은 自転車. In Thai, we say 작가야안. Oh. In Vietnam, we say 새아랍. Mongolia에서는 도고이. In Uzbekistan, we say velocipet or velik. In India, we say cycle. Hmm. In Thailand, we say 작가야안. In Indonesia, we call it sepeda. In Laos, we say lotip. In the Philippines, we say bike or bicicleta. Oh. In Malaysia, we say bicycle or in Malay, basikal. In Myanmar, we say sepe. In Singapore, we say bicycle or bike sometimes. Mm -mm. Yeah. In Philippines, we say it as bicicleta mm. or bike. Mm. Oh, I think it was cooler this time because since bike is kind of like an old thing, I figured most of them would have their own word for it. And I thought it was also interesting how some of them kind of had a similar S sound in the beginning. Like maybe that's related somehow, but it was really cool. In America, we say sandwich. In Korean, we say sandwich. In Chinese, we say samyeongju. In Japan, sandwich. In Thai, we say sandwich. In Vietnam, we say bánh sandwich. Mongolia에서는 sandwich 아니면 하 달라다 합주로다 달라. This makes sense. The same sandwich. In India, we may say sandwich or bread toast. In Thailand, we say sandwich. Most of Indonesian also call it sandwich, but we can also say it as roti lapis. Oh. In Laos, we say khao chi. In the Philippines, we say sandwich. Mm. So it's more like TS. Mm. In Malaysia, we just say sandwich. Mm. In Myanmar, we say sandwich or atanya pamok. In Singapore, it's the same, sandwich. Mm. In Philippines, it's sandwich. Oh, I like it. I like how this one was like half and half. Some countries just say sandwich, but some have really like wow, like Mongol again, Mongolia, wow, with that sandwich. I actually want to hear that again. That was so interesting. That was so fun. It was really fun to hear like all the different words. I expected most like modern words to all be the same, but it was still pretty different with the pronunciation. And some countries always made their own word for it, I feel like. So that was so cool to hear. Oh, I think always, Mongolia always is so interesting to me, even the other times hearing it. I think because I never heard it much before. It's so cool. Today we compared the words we use. If you like the video, please subscribe and comment. And we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.